Hi everybody, uh, today's video is on the satellite navigation system, uh, so we're going to be looking at what's standard in the ocean models uh, that's here, uh, obviously at some point uh, when we've got a Discover uh, Pro version in we can take you through that as well, uh, but the systems are pretty much identical, they work pretty much the same anyway as far as the navigation system is concerned, so uh, let's dive into it. Today we're just going to concentrate on the satellite navigation side of the stereo that's here. Uh, so this vehicle's just been PDI'd, uh, so it's ne never been used before in that sense, so it should be fresh uh, as if you've just got one yourselves from home. Uh, obviously this particular version is the standard satellite navigation that you get with the Ocean. Uh, obviously the Pro version um, is slightly different in the fact it doesn't have the buttons, uh, but it, it works in the same way as far as the uh, navigation system is concerned. So, uh, so let's get into it. So obviously navigation, you've got a button that actually says nav in the top corner, so it's nice and easy there, you press that. And that's the first screen you're, uh, you're presented with. It doesn't really give you a lot of details, however, as soon as you press touch the screen, there's a little button here at the side, if you press that, it'll then take you to the actual map itself. Uh, so the previous screen, what it was actually doing is concentrating on where you are, um, where this actually now gives you your maps and, and where you're going. You can press that button again, and obviously then it would it would bring over here. Uh, so this screen would, for example, if you'd already had destinations stored, it would give you uh, some of those destinations. It might have bits that are actually on there. So obviously, because this is brand new, there's nothing actually stored in there at the moment. So as I said, first things first, onto your map, and obviously that will show you uh, where we are here, obviously Volkswagen Van Centre Liverpool, that's where we are. Uh, and obviously you can make that smaller and scan out by just literally just pinching it and coming out. To go back in, as I said, obviously from on there, if you want to uh, just go in, you just literally just put it in from on there. So it pretty much works the same way as you would use any type of tablet uh, to decide on where you want to be and, and, and moving it around from there. Uh, whenever you touch the screen, obviously it will bring things back up uh, and obviously you can just touch the screen to take you to places as well. So uh, if I just come back out of that one uh, for a second that's on there. So say you had, for example, uh, you had your big screen on there and you wanted to go to Liverpool City Centre, for example, that's in there. You could just tap on Liverpool City Centre that's on there, click start. It would take you to where you actually want to go. Uh, quite a, a handy feature that if you if you already know the area where you're going to. Uh, let's have a quick look at the menu function. So your menu one is here at the bottom. We click on that. Um, obviously you've got your volume uh, control that's on here and this is the volume for the announcements and things like that. Obviously night and day auto, you just leave it on automatic. Uh, so pretty much that uses a sensor that's, that's up here. Uh, and obviously it'll change the, the brightness and the screen. So show mapping cluster, uh, what this function basically does is it swaps your from here to your dashboard. Uh, and this is if you've not got a guidance on. So if you're just driving around and you're not taking you anywhere, uh, it's a way of actually showing the maps on the screen. So normally on the screen now, you'd have this, which is like the, the compass of where the vehicle is actually going. If you click on here, show map in cluster, that will then come off this main screen. So it's gonna just show it on your dashboard uh, that's in here. And while we're talking about this on here, obviously this is in the middle section here. If you press the view button, that will then change that to the whole of the dash. Uh, so basically what it's doing is that that tick box is changing it from your screen to straight in front of you uh, so you can see where you're going. Um, now obviously if you've got a guidance in, so if you've actually got some directions going on at the same time, uh, obviously that can, will automatically then show in the middle of your dash uh, anyway uh, as far as the map is concerned. So uh, you don't need to put it on its own if you want to actually direct it. I would suspect for most people, me personally, I'm not actually uh, using the guidance system. I think I would rather have it on the screen rather than uh, that's on there, so I'll probably leave the tip box changed. Uh, and to change it back, obviously you just untick it, and then it reverts it back to uh, as it was previously that's in there. And then finally, this bottom section is settings, which is the little cogs in the bottom that's in there. Uh, so in there, you've got three sections. So you've got route guidance, you click into there. To avoid traffic congestion, you can set it to uh, on, ask, or off. Uh, so it's on ask. Show information for destination. Obviously you can do it for next stopover, so if you can have it to put multiple ones on from in there. Uh, time display, obviously time that you're going to get somewhere, but again you can change that uh, to driving time, uh, but obviously I'd probably leave that on time of arrival. Information about border crossings, it's on there, that's ticked. Uh, information 
uh, signs on motorway dual carriageway, fuel warnings for example that come up on there, uh, you've got road signs, you can have that uh, as show on map if you wanted to, speed warning uh, that's off but again you can change and you can put that on so uh, for example your speed warning you can put as uh, display and sound so it can come on there and ping at you and obviously you can put the uh, uh, the warning at over whatever that actually might be and then trailer the very last one that's on there uh, obviously if you're uh, driving with a trailer you can tell it that you're driving with a trailer and obviously it will set maximum speeds then uh, for the vehicle obviously to warn you if you're going over those as well. So the next one's navigational announcements uh, so it's obviously active at the moment so it will talk you through these um, you can change the type of one that it comes so you can give it a brief one for example it might just say turn left rather than at the next junction or things like that sound only and obviously you can turn it off as well uh, i would suggest to leave it on comprehensive and see how you get on obviously during calls if you've got on the phone for example on your vehicle uh, it will still give you those announcements you can obviously change that if you want uh, you've got volume and then entertainment volume reduction so if you listen to the radio obviously you want the traffic announcement to come on that traffic announcement will come on and just overplay what you're listening to uh, but you can obviously set the degree at which it reduces the radio for example that you're listening so you can hear it the traffic announcements more clearly and then finally basic functions uh, and on here uh, so you've got learn usage pattern pattern uh, so this is actually the way in which the system can learn for itself so i would take that um, obviously you can delete that if you want so if people are changing in and out of the vehicle for any reason you could do from on there so if you want to for example uh, points of interest uh, you can put these in order uh, so you can put your preferred options that's there uh, enter home or business address uh, are the two uh, options it's in there as well uh, there's always been a bit of a debate about the um, uh, your home address and business address adding into a satellite navigation system uh, and I think that's, that drives from the fact that if you know, somebody who shouldn't be in your vehicle for example who may have your keys uh, also on your car keys is probably your house keys um, so obviously then you know you could literally just jump in and press uh, that from uh, to go up from there and that was always my uh, I know I've, I've in the past told people you know I wouldn't set a home address in your sat navigation system for that exact reason um, business address probably a little bit different love to know what your thoughts are on that whether you do or don't uh, from on there maybe uh, uh, probably overthinking it that's there uh, and then the last thing is demo mode uh, now demo mode isn't something for, for yourselves to use that's more so for us in the showroom so uh, we could for example click demo mode um, and then obviously the vehicle for when it was in the showroom people would be uh, showing how it works and things like that from there so that's a very quick overview View of the in the settings menu uh, so let's actually actually put a, a destination in now and show you how you actually do that so click on the search button uh, I'm going to show you two different ways of doing it so let's just take a postcode for example so uh, let's have a look at a uh, postcode to somewhere in town so let's go with uh, L3 4F so you see in here it says off-road but this is the exact coordinates of that particular postcode uh, so if you were to press that uh, it will then actually take you to where it is so this in particular is down in the docks in Liverpool uh, near Kings Parade uh, it's down there that's on the map so if you press start now it will actually take you to uh, that one that's on there now I've had a lot of people comment uh, with the satellite navigation system that it gives you that off-road um, uh, details that's on there as well so but if you did go back for example that's on here and I'll show you a different way of doing that so if you actually typed in King oops sorry let me just delete these bits first if you typed in instead King's uh, Parade and uh, put a space in there uh, so you've got King's Parade uh, that's in there if you press this little that says there's five different versions for that so if you press five different routes on there these are obviously parking ones for example for where we were going on there the one that we were looking at was the main road which is King's Parade there uh, so if you press that for example then it's obviously going to tell you where it actually is rather than with the uh, with the postcode um, not so much of a problem from on those but if you put in an actual address uh, so you go into somebody's house um, I tend to find it's just as easy to type in uh, the address for example if you've got a postcode that's on there it'll do full postcode search if it's somewhere that you're likely to go in back and forward to uh, what will happen then is, is for example it will then go up onto your uh, favorite screen that's here so your first screen that you come up to uh, so let's give you a, uh, a bit of an indication that's on there so let's change that and let's put in uh, a different van center for example so let's go with um, so that's right so let's type in our address here. So our address is 2 uh, Evans Road. 
so it's brought up here to Emmons Road, which is our address here, L249, which is the, the first bit of the postcode that's in there. Uh, so if you go and press that from on there, uh, obviously go to start. Please drive to the route shown. It's only going to do a little one where we are. Postcodes, full postcodes work perfectly well, but it will always give you that coordinate. So uh, the exact coordinates of where that actual postcode is actually centred to. Uh, and that's the way the, uh, the navigation system works. So it's database is linked that way. Uh, but obviously if you type in the exact address, whether that be a home address or a business address, uh, you can just type a business in. So for example, as I said, if you want to go to say a Volkswagen van centre, you can just type in Volkswagen van centre Liverpool, uh, and it would automatically search and just bring that particular place up and you can go from there as well. So uh, you've got both options that's in there. Um, but as I said, lots of people have commented before and asked me questions about why does it just give me a, uh, a doesn't actually tell me where it is. So on that favorite screen that we went back to before, obviously if that's just got coordinates on, you're not gonna have any idea where it is. Uh, but if it says Volkswagen Van Center, you're gonna know, so you can just press it straight off your favorite screen as well. Uh, from this screen, you can go straight into search, just the top one on there. The next one down, uh, is recent last destinations which is really good so obviously that's the one we just put in before to Evans Road uh, which is where we are uh, that's here so this one here is the actual journey you're doing um, obviously there's no data in there because we haven't got anything data planned in there at the moment uh, but this would for example give you other options as well so as you were driving along uh, say for example that you wanted to stop at a petrol station you could click on the petrol station and it would add that into your list as you're driving along as well also when you put putting addresses in as well you will notice you've got all these buttons that are across the top and these are your points of interest so fuel stations parking uh, parking with food for example uh, electric charging airport uh, so you can just click on those if you click fuel uh, it'll give you nearby petrol stations uh, and just a quick and easy way to get to them so if you want to stop the route, route guidance at any time if you press your menu button and to stop it you just press stop group guidance which down at the bottom that's on there and then that would completely cancel it out and just take you back to your, your normal one. So that was a look on how the navigation system works. Uh, so as a, as a quick recap, because people will probably ask from on this as well, is either use a full postcode and that'll give you the coordinates of exactly where you need to actually get to. Uh, alternatively, type in where you actually want to go to, uh, whether that's a place that you know, uh, for example, or the actual, actual address itself. Uh, if you want to do that as well, then you can put that in. Uh, then you can obviously save that as well if you wish to then. Um, so just let you know, because uh, I'm sure there might be some questions that, uh, that you've got on this as well. Uh, so we're going to be releasing this very shortly, this video. Once you've seen this video, um, there's going to be another one we're going to release after this, which is actually to show you around this particular vehicle as well in detail. Uh, and then the week after that, we're going to do a question and answer session. So uh, if you've got any questions on the particularly on the satellite navigation system, uh, please put them in the comments box below, and then we're going to answer all of those uh, with other questions we've got uh, which will be in about two weeks time when we do the question, uh, q a session for you so i hope you enjoyed today's video i hope that makes uh, sense to you uh, the navigation system can be quite complex but it's fairly straightforward if you just do that search option and type in where you want to go and a little bit of practice i'm sure you'll uh, you'll get to grips with it no problems whatsoever so as always if you don't subscribe uh, please subscribe if you've enjoyed today's video give us a thumbs up and give us a like uh, and we'll see you next time